Hello everyone. In this example, we're going to look specifically now at the work done by kinetic friction. That might seem a little counterintuitive because we often associate work with giving energy or putting energy into an object, whereas friction takes energy away. The work due to friction is always negative because the angle between the displacement delta d and the force of the kinetic friction are always in opposite directions and so the phi or the angle is 180 degrees. And the cos of 180 degrees is a negative 1. The law of conservation of energy however tells us that energy is never lost. So where does the energy go that is taken away? Well it's converted into thermal energy or heat like when you rub your hands together. Let's put that into context in the formula we had previously for the conservation of energy. Reworking the previous formula, we have the initial kinetic energy and potential energy, so the initial mechanical energy, and that's equal to the final kinetic energy and potential energy, or our final mechanical energy, and we're subtracting then this other work, where in this case, this is the work due to friction. And so we're subtracting that work due to friction. That's equivalent then to adding the thermal energy because as we saw, it's the negative of the work due to friction. And hence we can see that the final mechanical energy will be less than the initial mechanical energy because some energy is converted to heat. And so like I said before, we always have energy being conserved, but here that work due to friction is stealing away some of the energy from our useful mechanical energy and it's converting it into a thermal energy or a heat. Let's look at a very simple example that demonstrates the work due to friction. A woman pushes a laser printer of mass 2.5 kilograms at constant velocity across a horizontal tabletop by exerting a force of 22 newtons at 25 degrees below the horizontal. Determine the work done by each force acting on the printer if its displacement is 0.25 meters in magnitude. I've shown here the free body diagram for that object, the printer. We'll have a normal force acting upwards, a gravity acting downwards, based on the positive and x and y axes defined over here. And because we're moving it to the right or pushing it to the right, it has a component in the x direction and in the y direction. So the y direction basically pushing it down onto the table and this is the force being applied by the woman on the printer. We're also told that it's moving at constant velocity so that tells us that our net force is going to be zero. Now you're asked to find the work done by each force and we know that work is just F, the applied force, delta D, the displacement, times cos phi, the angle between those two. Let's start with the work due to the normal force. This will be that normal force times the displacement, delta D as I've called it here, times the angle between those two, and the angle here is 90 degrees. So I've got the cos of 90 degrees, which I know is equal to zero, and so I've got zero work being done by the normal force, not surprising. Work due to gravity, in a similar fashion then is going to be the gravitational force, an mg, the delta d, and again a cos of 90 degrees. So that one will again be equal to zero. The displacement delta d and the angle between the two, which here is a cos of 25 degrees. So remember this is my phi here of 25 degrees. That means I have 22 newtons, 0 0.25 meters, was the displacement given and a cos of 25 degrees to give me an angle of 5.0 joules. I'll use two significant figures to match the numbers provided. What about the work due to the kinetic friction? For that I need to know something about that force. So let me look at the forces then, a balance of the forces, because the additional information I've given is that it's moving at a constant velocity. And so if I look at the sum of my x components, I've got the kinetic force and I've got the x component of the applied force. And so that's this force here 
the x component, so this is going to be an fw cos of theta, pardon me, cos of phi, and that's all going to be equal to an, uh, the net force providing an acceleration, which in this case the acceleration is zero because I have no acceleration in the x direction. It's moving at a constant velocity. And so it tells me that those two are balanced out. And so my kinetic, the force due to the kinetic friction that is balancing out that x component is 20 newton. And from there then I'm going to solve for my work due to that kinetic friction or kinetic force. So the work due to kinetic friction is now going to be equal to fk delta d times a cos of the angle between these two is in this for this angle this is now a phi equal to 180 degrees because i have an angle here between the force of the kinetic friction and the displacement an angle that is equal to 180 degrees i then get a negative 1 showing up here so as we pointed out before the work due to friction is negative and as you might expect because we're moving at a constant velocity, we know that we have no net force acting, and this work being done by the kinetic friction is the same amount being done, same amount of work being done by the woman, but the kinetic friction is a negative work, and the work done by the woman to push it at a constant velocity is a positive work. So she is putting in the work to overcome the negative work being done by the force of friction.